Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I'm going to use this mold again. This mold is by Intuarison and this is such a beautiful crystal mold. I haven't seen a mold like this. Even if you see the mold itself, it's so shiny. These are handmade with love and a proper care is taken to make these molds. So if you want to see a simple flower that I made by uh, with this mold, I will link that video above here. Also, I have a discount code 20% off on this mold and it will be in my description so you can treat yourself. So I am here with an idea that I want to share with you that what you can do with this mold so last time I shared you that I made a jewelry necklace pendant out of this one. So this time I am getting really creative. So what I'm doing here is I have mixed my resin. So I just told you that this mold take a very little resin. I have poured a little bit of resin into the center of the mold and I will be putting a pearl in the center. So the idea here is that I am going to use this mold two ways. One way is going to be I will be making a flower out of this mold as simple. And this time I will be not adding anything. Uh, in my last video you told me, uh, asked me that I need to just pour simple resin to show you how beautiful and amazing crystal, crystal clear this mold is. So this time I'm doing that. Just simple is that I'm adding a little pearl in the center. And one, one I will be keeping simple plain just to let you see that how beautiful this mold is. So, so what I'm doing here is I am just using the center of this flower. So I'm making a smaller flower from the same mold. So yes, this can be done and you can make two type of flower from this. You can make a bigger flower or you can make a small flower. So I have done that. So this is going to be a second flower. First I will be pouring all the flowers to, uh, for, uh, of different sizes and then I will be showing you. So again I have mixed my resin and this time this is going to be a clear uh, flower. So I have poured my resin and with my heat gun I am just using a little bit of heat if there are any bubbles stuck inside. Although I have explained that you need to use a low viscosity resin when you are using this mold. So here I'm filling up this mold with the resin. So this one is going to be a clear flower. Less than 20 grams of resin this mold needs and the end result you will see yourself. I will be showing you everything at the end. So first one is done, the one that I showed you. So this is how the inner flower is coming out. So this is such a uh, gorgeous flower you can see by yourself it's raisin nothing anything else and just a pole in the center so here i made few of these smaller ones so same way i poured the resin in the center of this flower mold i'm going to make a smaller one as i need few of these so this is another one you can see the shine of this mold it's amazing so a lot of people ask me how many times i can use this mold and the shine remains so up till now i think i made more than 20 flowers and it's still shining so this is the bigger one you can still see the mold and this is just simple plain resin into this mold and perfect and these are the small ones you can see the rainbow shining through this flower here. And you can see the bigger one. I really don't have words. You can see yourself how beautiful this mold is. So now we are going to show you that what I am going to do with these flowers. This is a very amazing, innovative, creative idea and I just love it. So a lot of you may know what this is, but these are cufflinks for the buttons. So you can put your different buttons on top of this one and you can cover your buttons if you want some fancy buttons on your shirts, your whatever dress you are wearing. So this opens up a lot of ideas. You can use a lot of different resin creations on these to on top of these. So so on the top of these, I will be putting these flowers. So now I just showed you two sizes. You can make the bigger flower. You can make the smaller flower. It's really up to you. So this is how it's going to be. I'm just putting on top of it. And as soon as I put it on top of the this golden cuffling, it has its own unique look. 
and it was looking amazing so just to combine these two i will be using uv resin so i'm using uv resin by lightwish so i will link this in my description it's a hard viscosity resin perfect for bonding so after putting a little resin i will be putting these flowers on top of it just make sure they are centered And onto the second one, I will be putting this bigger one. Just spreading a reason little, little bit. I was a little bit afraid that I don't want to mess this flower by putting a lot of UV resin and just moving it uh, all around. So here I have my UV lamp on by Let's Resin. So it's under the lamp. I know it's not in the camera but it is under the lamp so here you go so after that I decided to put this onto the tray that come with the double-sided UV lamp of let's resin so this time I'm going to use both sides from the top and bottom so that it cures all around so in this way I have made few buttons so the technique is same. So these are done now and in this way you can make a lot of these. So let's see the final results. So I'm just showing you from the close that how this flower sparkles. This flower was so fun to watch I just watched it the color, color play that it was showing so I really enjoyed making this flower. And here comes the fun part and this is a simple plain shirt and I'm just showing you this is the before and let's start putting on the buttons and a little bit of ASMR for you. And this is the final look and I, you know, everyone was loving these and they were saying me that how amazing and beautiful these turned out. It is a very innovative idea. I am so happy about this one. It's really, a, it really feels good when you are using something actually and it's productive instead of just putting it. And this actually shirt had three buttons. So I'm just showing you, I made the smaller flower and you can decorate your so it's really up to you however you like to wear these i'm just make these in different colors also i just went with the plain a little bit of pearl and i made a bigger one for the top one top button and then I, you can add afterwards so all in all i just loved it i enjoyed making it and i hope you like them also and just treat yourself with this mold i i haven't recommend any mold so much because this is such a small mold with 20 percent off amazing so I hope you liked it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share thumbs up if you like the video and if you have a subscribe please consider do so and thank you so much for your beautiful beautiful comments and feedback and support I always love reading your comments take good care of yourself bye bye